All right, everybody, thank you for joining. I have a very special guest today. So today we are talking tax talk. We're here with Greg Martinez, CPA from Southern California. How are you doing today, Greg? Hello. Good. I'm doing great. How are you, Ed? Excellent. Excellent, man. Thank you. So how long have you been a CPA, by the way? I've been a CPA over 20 years now. Wow. So. Wow. So you're brand new, huh? <laughs> well, it takes that long just to figure out what's going on. No, yeah, I tell people it takes at least 20 years to become an overnight success, right? Isn't that how it works? Right. Something like that? Yeah. yeah, probably you can uh, get a pretty good idea what's going on after about 10 years. I mean, it takes a while. There's a lot of little subtleties to the business. There's just, it's such a broad 100%. range of uh, knowledge. That is very, very true. So speaking of knowledge, so tell me a little bit about um, what would what would you tell those people right now? Because everybody's starting to get ready, at least in the brain, to file their taxes if they haven't already. But I think the majority of people are about to jump in and start filing their 2022s. What would you what would you tell these folks before they file? What are kind of some hacks or some tips that you give them? Uh, well, I mean, the thing that comes to mind for me so much since I watch football is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of big companies getting into the tax preparation business, namely TurboTax. They're all over all the NFL games. That's and true. then, you know, H&R Blocks has been there forever. Um, you know, TurboTax's ads are kind of funny because they say, come to TurboTax and don't do your taxes. Let, let a professional do them for you. Well, those professionals, you know, not to knock them, but probably those guys are getting paid $25 an hour. That was the going rate a couple of years ago. So mm -hmm. usually a good CPA who really knows what they're doing even a good EA or tax preparer, um, they can command a lot more than that. So I would suggest using, not not because they, you're going to pay the same, except that there's no middleman taking the profit. And if you use a local small business, uh, somebody that you know is a CPA or an EA or has a credential, then uh, you can feel confident your return is going to get done and with a higher level of personalized service than you might get from a big company. Yeah, that's kind of the key right there, right? That personalized service. You know me. I mean, even in my mortgage business, I'm very bespoke, very hands-on. I like to handhold. And I just, I'm a big believer in the relationship, man. I think when, when especially with things like taxes, it's such a sensitive thing and it can make a difference between who you use. I just think it's so important that you build those relationships for long term. Somebody who's yeah. not only going to do your tax prep, but also is going to advise you and educate you on things because... I mean, look, we've seen this in the last three years. Change is not only real, but it's constant. seems like mm -hmm. everything's always changing, and I'm sure tax laws are going to continue to change. Any On that note, any tax changes that you see coming in the pipeline? Um, honestly, there's not that many tax changes this year. I guess the main changes is that the, kind of the gravy train of all this free money that was coming out after COVID mm -hmm. you know, to help the economic impact, um, that's gone away. So uh, we don't have to deal with the COVID advance payments that people got and the child tax credit payments. So, um, but on the other hand, a lot of people, they found their refund was less last year because um, they got an advance on their child tax credit. So this year there's no advance. So hopefully your, your refund goes up. But I just want to mention one thing as far as using a local professional as opposed to a big company is that, you know, people like me, we do taxes all year round and, you know, I'll be, if you're one of my clients, I'll be doing your tax year, tax return for several years. When you use a big company, you don't know if they're going to get a new employee, um, somebody who doesn't know your situation. So even though I see hundreds of people every year, I still have a pretty good idea of your situation and it's documented in my, my work papers. So I think that's a big advantage. And the cost to you is usually the same. And we all, pretty much most of us local accountants offer remote service just like the big companies like India. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. A lot of the bigger companies have this revolving door of new employees coming and going, right? And and I'm sure they don't incentivize them to take that much time to do them because they're basically just doing mass amounts of numbers. Is that correct? That's right. So, um, you know, they're not incentivized to give the kind of personalized service that we yeah. strive for here in a, in a local firm. Yeah. Yeah. How about um, itemization versus just taking the standard deduction? I and mean, that seems to me well, like we're going question. more and more away from itemization. Yeah, that's right. And of course, here in California, California is famous for not conforming. But for the IRS, the standard deduction for a married couple is starting to get pretty close to thirty thousand dollars now. So mm -hmm. fewer and fewer people are itemizing their deductions on their federal return. 
Uh, for California, the standard deduction is about $9,000 for a married couple. So a lot more people, um, they still itemize for California, but not for the Fed. So make sure to have all your itemized deductions together, because even if you uh, can't do it, can't itemize for the IRS, you can still itemize maybe for California. And so on that money. note, should they itemize things like the mortgage interest and the property tax deductions? Absolutely. Yeah. You want to uh, take all the deductions you can get. And, um, you know, like I said, for California, there's also some additional deductions like the home office deduction. You, you, you can't get a home office deduction if you have a job or you work for somebody else for the IRS. But for California, you can. And then I know there's a lot oh, of other states good. out there besides California. But for the most part, um, those other states conform. California doesn't conform. And since I'm here. And yeah, I'm we're rebellious, here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I want to address that. That's no, good. that's true. Well, okay, so we see your phone number there. Is there a good email also that uh, somebody can use to get a hold of you? Yes, it's just info, I-N-F-O, at gregmartinezcpa.com. That's easy, right? So info at your full name, Greg Martinez, CPA. Dot com. So if you are either looking for someone or you're not happy with the person you have, or you're using one of those, you know, go through a drive through and get a free burger and fries kind of outfits, I strongly suggest that you contact Greg today so that he, you'll see the difference in the personalization because it does make a difference. He will not only educate you, but he will advise you properly and steer you clear of any kind of landmines tax wise that you may be close to falling into. I appreciate yep. you uh, mm -hmm. and all of your information, Greg. Till next time, buddy. Have a good one. Okay, thanks. Have a great thanks. day. Thanks, you everybody. Bet you too.